Oh, here we are at the one-room schoolhouse. I don't train fighters here. I train teachers. Really exceptional teachers. But we train hard, and there's a lot to learn. Boxing trainers were the original and the best personal trainers, except no substitutes. Improved nutrition and correct amounts of strenuous exercise improve performance in school and work. Half of boxing training is what you don't do. No irregular hours, no drinking, no junk food. You have to dedicate yourself to clean living and you have to develop a strong personal discipline. And this can benefit you for your entire life. Boxing is about hard work and strong character. A fighter has to face his fears. Only a small percentage of people will be suited for competition, even at an amateur level. But many more can benefit from a boxing training regime that is personalized to their age and fitness level. After we work out, we always go to the kitchen. And straight to the soup. You can't cut fat. And most Americans need to cut fat. It's not just cutting weight. Cut fat. Soup is the key. Soup pot and the crock pot are the keys to training meals. Now it's time for lunch. It's not all just about working out. You can defeat yourself at the dinner table easily. So what's for lunch today? That's ginger tea. This is a steamer. This is a critical piece of equipment you've got to have, just like having a punching bag. You've got to have the steamer. Steam the vegetables. We're getting that shot. And over here is the lean protein. That's turkey. Okay, let's be clear about this. No salt, no sugar. No fried food. No white flour. No added fat. None of that. You gotta have balanced nutrition and it's gonna take a lot of vegetables and you've got to cook and just face it you're not going to get in shape you're not going to be as good as you can be if you don't cook now if you're rich maybe you have somebody cook for you but uh, for most of us you got to cook for yourself to make sure you're getting good nutrition and getting what you actually need Alright, the workout's done, lunch is done, now it's time to study. You do read, don't you? Well, let's see, what are we reading today? Gotta go pick a title. Recently I've been researching bare knuckle fighters in the 1700s. Damn yeah, man. You gotta read, you gotta research, you gotta balance the physical activity with mental activity and with a disciplined relaxation which we call meditation. 
All right, so can I get a book? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this one. Yeah, and we don't call it the one room schoolhouse for nothing. Let's sit down and engage the brain. Shadow boxing is the key. It's the laboratory and your homework all rolled into one. It can be practiced in super slow motion or it can be done at faster speeds. Use it in conjunction with video study. This is how you teach yourself. Slow video down and watch the way one of your favorite fighters does one specific technique. Try some visualization before shadow boxing. Try to stress the study of video as a balance for all the physical training when you're doing heavy boxing training.